Here are three cool ways to lace Converse, including diamond lacing, loose lacing, and bar lacing. Timestamps for each are down below. Let's get into it. Here's how to diamond lace low top Converse. Start by taking your lace, and we're going to thread it through the two very bottom eyelets here. Now we're gonna go into this one from above, and then we're gonna come up through this one from underneath, just like that. Make sure there's no twists. Go ahead and pull your laces through. Now you just wanna take a minute to adjust them, make sure they're the same length before we carry on. Remember, you can play this video on half speed or you can pause it as much as you like. There's no rush, just follow along with me slowly. Then we're gonna go ahead and take this lace and we're gonna bring it over the sneaker tongue and into the third hole up from the bottom on this side. And we're gonna go down into it from above, just like this. Great, pop that one out of the way. Now grab a hold of this one and we're gonna bring this one over the sneaker tongue and down into the third eyelet up from the bottom on this side as well. Make sure you're going down into these from above. Now we have these empty eyelets here. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take this lace and we're gonna make sure we're threading it underneath the little X we've done. And we're gonna bring it up into that empty eyelet from underneath, just like that. And then we're gonna do the exact same on the other side. So we're gonna bring the lace end underneath the laces here and up into the empty eyelet, just like that. Brilliant. Then we're gonna keep a hold of this lace and we're gonna bring it over. And we're gonna bring it into the fourth eyelet up from the bottom this time, just like this. So we're not leaving a little gap this time. And then we're gonna take this lace bring it over and bring it up into the fourth eyelet from the bottom on this side. Make sure we're going down into those eyelets from above. And now we're gonna keep hold of this lace and we're gonna feed it just underneath this little lace here. And we're gonna bring it up into the third eyelet up from the bottom from underneath. Now this can be a little bit fiddly, but just take your time, make sure you get it right. Pause if you need to. Once we pull that one through, we're going to do the same with this one. We're going to bring it underneath this little lace here and up through the third eyelet from the bottom on this side from underneath. Great. Then we're going to keep a hold of this lace, bring it over and into the next available eyelet on this side. Exactly the same with the other side. Bring it over into the next available eyelet, keep a hold of it, feed it under this lace and up into the eyelet below from underneath. So that'll be the fourth one up from the bottom this time, up into it from underneath. Pull it through, grab a hold of this one and bring it up into the fourth eyelet from the bottom from underneath. You might be getting the hang of the pattern now. It is quite straightforward once you've done a few, but just keep going with me till the end. And we're gonna keep a hold of this lace, bring it over, into the final eyelet here and the same with the other one bring it over and into the top eyelet here if your low tops have more eyelets than me just continue the pattern exactly the same way until you reach the top eyelets as i've done here then you can go ahead bow these laces as normal but what i like to do to keep the pattern looking really fresh is just do a little bow tuck it behind your converse tongue and that'll just sit on top of your foot out of the way and keep your pattern looking really crisp. Repeat on the other shoe and you'll have a really awesome looking pair of diamond lace low top converse. Begin by taking your lace and threading each lace end down into the two very bottom eyelets, making sure to go into them from above, just like I'm doing here. Pull that all the way through. Then just make sure both lace ends are of equal length and take a second to adjust them there. Remember, you can play this video on half speed or you can pause it as often as you like. There's absolutely no rush and just go as slowly as you'd like. Once you have them both threaded into the very bottom eyelets, we're going to pop this one out of the way, take a hold of this one. We're gonna bring it over the sneaker tongue 
and down into the second eyelet up from the bottom on this side from above just like that great pop that one out of the way swap to the other one we're going to do the exact same with the other one pop it down into the eyelet from above and pull it all the way through making sure there's no twists or turns in your laces pull it like that then we're going to keep hold of this one still take it over the sneaker tongue again and into the next available eyelet from above just like this and swap back to the other one do the exact same on the other side now your converse might have more or less eyelets than mine, but the pattern re remains the exact same. It doesn't matter how many eyelets you have, just keep going. Again, keep a hold of this one. Take it into the next available eyelet on this side from above. Pull it through. Doing great. Swap back to the other one. Do the exact same. Keep a hold of this one, bring it over down into the next eyelet, pull it through, making sure there's no twists and the pattern's looking good. Swap back to the other one and do the exact same. So when you reach the final eyelets, this is where the loose lacing pattern comes in and starts to deviate from the standard pattern. What we're gonna do, is we're gonna pop that one out of the way, Take this one and instead of going down into the final eyelet from above, we're just going to go up into it from underneath the canvas this time. So just pull it through from underneath like that. Take the other one on the other side and go into the other eyelet from underneath, just like this, making sure there's no twists. And then what you want to do is pull the lace back out until you have about this much lace left and I think that looks good but you can do it to your preference. Do the same on the other side and you just wanna make sure you have about the same left. Then with all these extra loose laces, we're literally just gonna tuck them behind the sneaker tongue and they'll sit out of way on the top of your foot and they won't bother your foot at all. And it'll mean that you'll be able to just slip your foot in and out of the converse each time you put them on. So once that's tucked out of the way, just go ahead and make sure you've adjusted these little bits here and you're done. Repeat on the other shoe and you'll have a pair of really cool looking loose laced converse low tops. Here's how to bar lace your converse. Begin by taking your lace and we're going to want to thread it down into the two very bottom eyelets here from above. So that's one. Swap to the other one and go into it from above, not from underneath, just like this. Great. Then at this stage, take your two lace ends and pull them together like this and just pull that bar all the way through, making sure there's no twists. And doing it like this will mean that your lace ends are of equal length. Remember, you can pause this video as much as you need or play it on a slower speed, whatever works best for you. There's absolutely no rush. Then we're gonna go ahead and take a hold of this lace. We're going to skip this eyelet here and go to the third one up from the bottom and we're gonna feed it up through it from underneath, just like this, pull it through. Then we're gonna take this lace over the sneaker tongue and down into the corresponding eyelet on this side from above. So feed that lace down into that one from above Pull it through, making sure you have no twists. And you'll see our bar pattern starting to form. Then we're gonna swap back to this other lace and we're gonna take it up into the second eyelet up from the bottom, on this side this time, from underneath. Just like this. Then we're gonna do the same with this one, bring it over the sneaker tongue and down into the corresponding eyelet from above. So bring it down into that empty one there. Awesome, from above. And just take a second and make sure all of your bars are looking even and nice. Then we're gonna keep a hold of this lace. We're gonna bring it underneath this one here. And then we're going to skip this empty eyelet here and move to this one. 
and we're going to bring the lace up into it from underneath just like this leaving that one empty then we're going to take it over the sneaker tongue again and down into the corresponding eyelet from above but by the way make sure the bars are nice and even then we're going to swap back to this guy and we're going to bring it up into the empty eyelet here from underneath just like this bring it over the tongue and down into this empty eyelet from above looking good making sure there's no twists taking your time then we're going to feed this lace end up underneath that one there and we're going to bring it up into this empty eyelet here from underneath put this one out of the way keep a hold of it and we're going to bring it over and down into the corresponding eyelet from above to make our final bar now yours might have more or less eyelets than me but you can just continue the pattern in the exact same way to fill out the extra eyelets then what we're going to do with these excess laces is just go ahead and tie them into a little knot and pull that knot flush with the eyelet underneath there and then you can literally just tuck those laces down inside your converse and they won't bother your feet too much they're super soft and it'll just keep your pattern in place so it can't come loose repeat on your other shoe and you'll have an awesome pair of bar laced converse if you found the info in this video helpful please hit the like button for me to help it reach more people thanks